Hat, sunglasses, Pepsi, notes, sources, thick skin, check. You already know. Let's go. Golden Blooded is a college football YouTube channel for entertainment. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And let's get into our next college football video. Don't forget to send gear to represent your team. The address is P.O. Box 360, Liberty South Carolina 29657. Yes, we are still doing that. Just wanted to put that reminder in there because I haven't reminded anybody here recently. I have to say this. Shout out to my subscribers of yours. You guys are amazing. Awesome. Not only do you send in gear to represent your team to my P.O. Box all the time. I mean, look, look at all these mini helmets. That, that was all sent in for my viewers and subscribers, not to mention the gear that I don't even have hung up right now, which I will when, once the, uh, once the remodel is completely done. So, shout out for that. But also, I have said time and time again, if you leave a video idea in the comments section and I like it, I will do a video on it. So, this one is a video idea from xdrang93. He said that the that the Pac-12 is actually excuse me not the Pac-12 but but the state of Washington is looking to pass a bill to keep Washington and Washington State in the same conference no matter what. In other words, if one of them wants to stay, they both have to stay. If one of them wants to leave, they both have to leave to go to the same conference. That is very very interesting. I looked it up and it is a fact. There is a proposed bill to keep Washington and Washington State together in the same conference no matter what. The Washington bill proposed to keep Washington and Washington State in the same conference no matter what is proposed by Senator Drew McEwen, Senator Jeff Holy, and Senator Sam Hunt. These three are sponsoring the bill to keep schools in the same conference as in Washington and Washington State. Now part of the bill states that the Board of Regents for both schools could jointly recommend participation in a different athletic conference, but that would have to be approved by state legislation. So here's what Drew McEwen, who is the main proponent of this bill, had to say about it. I think both of those schools have rich history in state. I don't think that the decisions should be made without public input via the legislature. He goes on to say, the intent of the bill is to, one, keep UW and WSU, referring to Washington Washington State, together. So we don't end up losing one to a different conference and the other one left in a conference that is dwindling. In other words, Washington possibly going to the Big Ten and Washington State getting stuck in a dwindling Pac-12. Then at the same time, having the legislature input and oversight and approval of any major conference realignments. Looking at it from a taxpayer's viewpoint, I think we have every right to do that and make sure that we honor our rich tradition in this state of both schools. So he's very passionate about this bill. He wants Washington and Washington State to stay together no matter what. He goes on to say the intent of that is that we should keep the two schools together to preserve the traditions that have existed since statehood between these two schools. I look at it from the viewpoint that one can't leave without the other. That is the main statement. The purpose of this bill is if one team leaves, they both leave. These two teams have played each other 114 times in college football and it's called the Apple Cup Rivalry and it has tied for 38 as far as longest consecutive series. Washington does lead the series 75 to 33 in six ties. And on top of that, Pac-12 fans are, they're just fed up with conference realignment. Here's what one Pac-12 fan tweeted. Just call us the Mac. Pac-12 diehards are not happy about the conference shakeup, so they're not happy that USC and UCLA are leaving to the Big Ten, and we all pretty much knew that, but now they want their team to have a safe landing spot, and whenever it comes to Washington Washington State, definitely fans of Washington State, they want that bill to pass. I'm not sure about fans of Washington, because what if bringing along Washington State is actually a deal breaker? So that means, hey, if they don't want Washington State, we can't go either. So there are two sides of this story. The future of both of these schools are at stake. The bill actually helps Washington State as far as their future because if somebody wants Washington, they have to take Washington State. But it could actually hurt the future of Washington because, once again, if they don't want Washington State, they can't get Washington either. And we all knew that Washington and Oregon put in their applications to the Big Ten, and the Big Ten said, no, not right now, maybe in the future, but as of right now, we're not going to do that. So we know that Washington is interested in going into the Big Ten, but they are trying to go in with Oregon. With this bill, if it is passed, Washington can't do that. They can still get to the Big Ten, but they have to go with Washington State. And honestly... That's not a terrible idea. Listen, Washington State has a massive, massive fan base. One of the biggest fan bases in the Pac-12. In fact, a top 25 fan base when it comes to size in the entire nation. 
So that's not necessarily a bad thing. In fact, whenever I heard that the Big 12 was talking to Utah, Colorado, Arizona, and Arizona State, I suggested that they swap out Colorado for Washington State because I thought Washington State would make much more sense. Well, with this bill passed, now you wouldn't be able to take Washington State without taking Washington. So if this bill does indeed pass, then Washington State could be off the menu for the Big 12 unless they could persuade Washington to come with them. This could change a lot of things. This could change the future of the Pac-12. Maybe nobody wants Washington State and they have to stick with the Pac-12 and they can just reload. This affects the future of the Big Ten. Maybe they do want Washington, but they don't want Washington State. But at the same time, Washington State isn't a detriment. It would add value. So maybe they do get Washington and Washington State. It also affects the Big 12. If they can't get Washington, then they're not getting Washington State either. This is a very, very important bill if it does get passed. It will affect the future of three conferences directly or indirectly. My personal opinion is I actually do like the bill because I don't like that conference realignment has broken up so many rivalries. It has broken up so many rivalries. As a West Virginia fan, it broke up the West Virginia Pitt rivalry and the West Virginia-Virginia Tech rivalry, our two biggest rivals. It broke us up, and I don't like it at all. Even if we aren't in the same conference, at least still play them every year. Hey, Clemson and South Carolina, they play each other every year. Even though South Carolina left the ACC long, long, long ago, they kept the rivalry intact. These rivalries need to be preserved. So I'm okay with these rivals being split up as long as they still play each other every year. What about Oklahoma and Oklahoma State? They're going to be split up. That's a great rivalry. Even a cross-divisional rivalry between Oregon and USC, for the time being, that's going to be broken up as well. That's a pretty good rivalry. There for a while, Texas and Texas a and a really good rivalry. That was broken up. They will be reunited because Texas is going to the SEC. But you get the point of what I was saying. Rivalries have been broken up, not even to mention Nebraska. Nebraska's rivalry with Oklahoma was broken up. Yes, they've played them a couple of times since. Nebraska's rivalry with Missouri, Kansas... Kansas State, all the Big 12 members that they left behind, all those rivalries were left behind, done away with, and Nebraska in the Big 10 hasn't made much sense, and they haven't had success. That's something that a lot of people aren't looking into. Whenever these teams do make the jump to a better conference, yes, they are getting money, but for the most part, they're not having as much success as they did in their previous conference. I mean, look at Nebraska. Nebraska was a powerhouse in the Big 12. Ever since joining the Big Ten, I mean, they had some success at first in the beginning, but not really. They haven't been good at all. This is not the Nebraska that I remember growing up. Same thing with Texas A&M. Texas A&M used to be really, really good in the Big 12, and they've had a few good years here and there in the SEC, but overall, not that good. Not that good at all, actually. So not only are you breaking up rivalries, but these teams that are heading to new conferences are not having as much success. I mean, West Virginia in the Big 12. We are seventh as far as total winning percentage since we've joined the Big 12. And the argument that I get is, well, that's because West Virginia joined a better conference. That just proves that the Big 12 was better than the Big East. No, no it doesn't because look at Nebraska. Look at everybody. It doesn't matter where they've gone to, where they came from. It's just the, the, the growing pains. They don't quite fit in like they did in their previous conference. That's why I expect USC and UCLA to struggle at least for a while in the Big 10. Prepare yourself, USC fans. It's going to happen. Get used to 7-5, 8-4, and, and a 9-3 and three season on a good year, at least for the next 10, maybe 20 years. I know Lincoln Riley is a pretty good offensive-minded coach, but when it comes to defense, he doesn't care. It's bit him in the rear end time and time again when it comes to the playoffs. That's definitely going to play an effect going into the Big Ten. Not having a defense, it's going to hurt you a lot. Not to mention the regional fit. USC and UCLA will struggle much more than what they did in the Pac-12. So do I like this bill? Absolutely. I love this bill. There needs to be more bills like this because conference realignment has made college football not make sense. Y'all know in the comment section, number one, do you like this bill? Number two, do you think this bill actually gets passed? Number three, if it does get passed, where do you think Washington and Washington State eventually end up in as far as the conference goes? That's all I got for you for this show. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on my next show.